Right, I'm fitting uh, fitted my reinforced rear uh, rack for my top box. Did that yesterday, and now I'm fitting the bars to fit the panniers on. And there's a major flaw. Let me explain. I've tapped and threaded these with my M8 tap because the thread inside the frame uh, encapsulated thread is um, paint so you have to with cutting compound to get rid of all the paint so that fits in there lovely now this fella slots in the the recess of this new bracket but the recess isn't as deep as the original therefore i'm gonna have to slice off and that sounds a bit drastic let me um let me just whiz this bolt out quickly and i'll show you what i mean what a faff. Absolute faff. Oh my god, steady, steady. Right, so you've got this here. Let's move them and go if you want to need it. This here slides into recess there. Okay, now that recess isn't deep enough to allow. You see it goes in, but it isn't deep enough for this here to be tight to the frame. Okay, let me just pause it there and I'll show you what I mean. Right, now I've just wound that bolt back in there. And this is sat inside that recess there. It's pretty tight, but it's not tight, properly tight. And look at the gap we got here. Because that's too long. Because that channel in there is too too thick it's not shallow enough so problem being when you go to put the back bracket on you can line it up on there and there you're a good inch away because of that gap this should be bolted up tight to this which would bring this in so I've got some cutting to do and another thing I found which I wasn't really overly happy about read through the instructions it says disconnect the battery negative terminal first fine did that Put some light on the subject. Went to do the positive battery terminal, and look at that. Someone has already cracked half of the positive terminal up and lifted that top end up. So only half of it, the back half of lead, which is very soft, is connecting. So I should be making a phone call about that. I took a took a photograph already. So yeah, um, you know, nothing's too much trouble. But at the end of the day. If people are making aftermarket brackets that are stronger than the original, they should be getting the dimensions right. That's a basic flaw, isn't it? Ah, more work to do. Cheers for watching. Right, uh, rear rack dilemma part two. <laughs> well, this is the offending part. Well, it's not the offending part, really. This part is, is completely fine. But this and this should be sitting flush with, with this and the inside of there but that inside there is too shallow now I was going to hack this off very very carefully with a hacksaw about four mil just to take it so it's it lines up with the bracketry there but what I as I'm well tooled up I've got a 13 mil drill bit so what I'm going to do as this is the aftermarket rack I'd rather drill this out a few mil than, than cut the original um, Harry Enfield rack. Okay, so I'm just gonna wind that in a few turns with some cutting compound, just to ream that in a bit deeper so when the bracket goes on, it sits flush with there. All right, wish me luck. Oh, I've got the hand guards on that at the front there with the hand rods on yesterday. Moved the, I had to um, reposition the front screen, obviously, because they catch and it's an MOT failure if it's, if it fails, all that nonsense, and there, uh, done a few other bits and pieces, so yeah, cracking on. Right, rear pannier system part three. I've but now bolted this in, not tight, tight, bolted that in. That's been drilled out in there with my 13mm drill bit. Good bit of kit. And uh, that's all in there nicely, seating in there. This bolted in there perfectly. Almost is a tiny bit of gap there, but it's negligible. Okay, so I've bolted this on here. It's only loose, but it's sort of central. 
and and this is what we're, we're left with can you see because that needs to be that needs to be drilled out on this side now for that to then sit in there properly to close that up and line this up properly you know it's, it's a bit not good isn't it really for an aftermarket part that should be pretty exact oh well onwards and upwards let's crack on with uh, with that side left hand side take it easy right final part basically it's all bolted up now bolted up bolted up get well if you, if you want the panniers and you and you ask the guys where you're buying it the bike from to fit the panniers for you and you've got the standard rack on there when you go to change your rack you're going to be in trouble unless if you buy the same one that i did anyway i bought this one for vbay i can put a link up in a bit to who it was i bought it off but you will have to drill out inside there with a 13 mil drill bit because it's got like a 10 mil sleeve inside there if you can imagine you know 10 mil casting it, it only should be five mil so this slides further in bringing these two edges here together to fit these all right just a word of warning because i didn't know that was going to happen and i expect there's a few of you guys out there as well that didn't know that was going to happen okay cheers for watching all right continuing on i'm just refit reinstalling the indicators uh, you've got a, a i think it's a four mil uh, hex drive bolt which goes through to a 10 mil nut under there i've just gone to put this side on i've put the bolt through done the nut up and the head's just sheared straight off and i've not even put any picker jaws of energy into that that's just sheared come on right enfield that's toffee that's not good is it flipping heck well there she is done all back in one piece it's all right doesn't it Bad, you're bored to death, aren't you? Seeing <laughs> pictures of these bikes. Well, here we go. I've uh, when I put these stickers on, obviously, the white bit that's left has a grey surround, so I've, I've cut it or jig jagged it, zigzaggedy like that. And I so I've got another silhouette now which I could put on there, but that's another day. Better make sure everything works. And I now put the battery back on with the dodgy flipping battery terminal which nearly sheared completely off. God, dear, oh dear. Who puts these bikes together? So wrong. Well, we've got a bit of light at the back there. Yeah, we've got indicators. To the side. We've got brake light. Yeah, we've got brake light. I'm happy. Now, a bit of a dilemma. I've just measured this. This distance here. It's 33 inches. My gate is 33 inches. Mm, this is going to be interesting. All right, I hope you have enjoyed that informative yet annoying video about getting these brackets on for the side panniers combined with an aftermarket reinforced top box rack because it isn't easy. I thought it was a five minute job, bolt on, bolt off. With the original bracket on there, I've looked at the original bracket, an actual fact I can show you. This part here, which bolts onto that part there, has got only a 5mm gap in there, space in there. Well, these aftermarket ones have a flipping 10mm gap in there, which you have to drill down to five to that size, so that bracket fits. Anyway, thanks for me letting me bore you. And uh, more mod videos to come at a later date. But I'm happy with the result. She looks alright, doesn't she? Alright, better get out and get it muddy.